Wednesday, October 20th. I'm Natalie Del Conte and it's time to get loaded. HP is ready to show off what they're going to do with Palm. The company announced the Palm Pre 2 smartphone, running the newest operating system, WebOS 2.0. It has flash, multitasking, and something called Just Type. It lets you start to compose a message or an update before you have even opened the appropriate app. I'm excited to see that one in action. The phone launches in France on Friday, but it won't come to the U.S. or Canadian markets for another few months. Xbox.com is getting a refresh today with some cool new features. For starters, you can edit your avatar, combine messages, friend, and game requests into a single panel, and play games with Xbox Live friends right in the browser. Microsoft also launched Office 365. It's a suite of Office programs that's hosted online or in the cloud. Office 365 combines Office, SharePoint Online, Exchange Online, and Link Online. This is mostly for small business collaboration. It launches in 13 countries and regions. Find out more at office365.microsoft.com. And you can now print your Facebook photos at your local Target. The two companies announced that the Kodak Picture kiosks at Target will be able to access your Facebook account to print photos from there. Just don't leave yourself signed in on that kiosk. And we have some e-reader news. Barnes & Noble may have a new nook on the way. They invited press to some kind of event next Tuesday. We'll let you know. Also, Pan Digital announced the novel. It's a color e-ink device with a touchscreen, built-in Wi-Fi, and a direct link to the Barnes & Noble ebook store. It costs $200. Google has been contracted to digitize the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Israel Antiquities Authority has authorized the search giant to digitize one of the earliest documents ever discovered that chronicles the inception of Christianity. There are over 30,000 fragments that will be scanned, and I would imagine very carefully. Those are your headlines for today, but don't forget that today is an Apple announcement day. We think it has to do with a new MacBook, perhaps a MacBook Air. We will be live blogging the event today. You can find that at CNET.com, or you can just hold your horses until tomorrow, and I will tell you all about it. I'll see you then. I'm Natalie Del Conte for CNET.com.